Hello mga Kapkit Angels! Welcome back for another Mathinate episode. This is Teacher Mika and this is Teacher Joy Me. For third quarter's week 7 lesson, we will talk about the circle and its parts. After going through this module, you are expected to illustrate a circle and the terms related to it, such as the radius, diameter, chord, center, arc, central angle, and inscribed angle. Not all geometric figures you see are polygons. Some are shaped as circles, such as Ferris wheel, wall clock, and coins, which are real-life models of circles. Circles are evident in transportation where they appear in vehicle tires, roundabouts in roads, and road designs. Imagine if your tire is a square. But mathematically speaking, what does circle mean? Circle is the set of all points that are the same distance from the fixed point. This fixed point is called center of the circle. You name a circle by its center. The circle above has point O as its center. Therefore, it is called circle O. If the fixed point is the center, then the fixed distance is what we call radius. Radius is a line segment drawn from the center to any point on the circle. In the figure above, we have line segment OG or line segment GO as the radius of the circle. Next, we have the coin, which is a line segment whose endpoints lie on the circle. In circle O, the chord is segment NG, or we may call it as segment GN. Take a look at this circle. Is segment HD a chord? Okay, very good. Segment HD is a chord. How about segment AF? Correct. Segment AF is also a chord of circle O. And how about segment BE? Yes, definitely. Segment BE also satisfy the definition of a chord. Lastly, is segment GC a chord? Okay, very good. Segment GC is a chord because its endpoints lie on the circle. However, as you can see, it is different from the other chords in the circle because it passes through the center of the circle. And that's what makes it a special type of chord. And this special type of chord is what we call diameter. Diameter is a chord that passes through the center of a circle. It is the longest chord of a circle and it is twice the length of a circle's radius. Now, will you name all the diameters in the given circle? Before we proceed, let's have some practice. Remember that the diameter is twice the length of a circle's radius. Let's answer the following. If line segment OG is 8 centimeters, what is line segment DG? You have 10 seconds to answer. Correct! It is 16 centimeters. Next, if line segment DG is 36 centimeters, what is line segment GO? You have 10 seconds to answer. Very good! It is 18 centimeters. An arc of a circle is two points on the circle and the continuous part of the circle between those two points. In the given figure, arc AC is an arc of circle B. There are three types of arcs, semicircle, minor arc, and major arc. Semicircle is an arc of a circle whose endpoints are the endpoints of the diameter. A semicircle is half a circle. It is often named using three capital letters to avoid confusion on which semicircle is being referred to. In circle A, arc BCD is a semicircle. Next, we have minor arc. 
Minor arc is an arc of a circle that is smaller than a semicircle. F is denoted using two capital letters. In circle A on the right, arc LB is a minor arc. And lastly, major arc. Major arc is an arc of a circle that is larger than a semicircle. It is denoted using three capital letters. On the same circle, arc LMB is a major arc. An arc is associated with the measure in degrees of its corresponding central angle and inscribed angle. But what are this central angle and inscribed angle? First, let's define a central angle. It is an angle whose vertex is at the center of the circle and whose sides are the radii of the circle. In the figure, angle BAT is a central angle whose measure is 105 degrees. And then the arc that lies in the interior of a central angle and has endpoints on the circle is called the intercepted arc. So, arc BT is the intercepted arc of angle BAT. And take note that the measure of a central angle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. Hence, arc BT is also equal to 105 degrees. Let's talk about inscribed angle. An inscribed angle is an angle whose vertex lies on the circle and whose sides intersect the circle into other points. In circle A, angle DIP is an inscribed angle whose measure is 20 degrees and its intercepted arc is arc DP. Now in here, take note that the measure of uninscribed angle is equal to one half the measure of its intercepted arc, or the measure of the intercepted arc is twice the measure of the inscribed angle. Hence, arc DP is 20 times 2, which is 40 degrees. For your drill, do the following. Using a compass, Draw a circle whose radius is 5 cm. Then draw the following objects. Write impossible if the object cannot be drawn. Number 1. One cord measuring 2 cm. Number 2. One cord measuring 10 cm. Number 3. One cord measuring 12 cm. Number 4. One central angle measuring 90 degrees. Number 5. One central angle measuring 135 degrees. And lastly, one arc subtended by an arc that measures 35 degrees. That ends our lesson today. We hope you learned something. See you on our next episode, Talk with Angels. Keep safe!